Hey everyone, and welcome to the Zone Pack. I'm Daniel, and Microsoft just had their Windows 10 event, and they announced some pretty cool stuff. First off, Cortana is finally coming to Windows 10. Internet Explorer is going to be replaced by a brand new web browser codenamed Project Spartan. Xbox One to Windows 10 game integration and game streaming is also coming. And guess what? Windows 10 is finally going to be free. This is a first for Microsoft, although it's only free for the first year and only if you upgrade from Windows 8.1 or from Windows 7. But still, it's, you know, it's, it's free. And then... They introduced something which I believe to be the most amazing, the most interesting, the most innovative piece of technology I've ever seen in the past five years or so. Meet Microsoft's new augmented reality glasses, Microsoft's HoloLens. So let's take a more in-depth look at the new HoloLens from Microsoft. Enjoy the video. So Microsoft HoloLens. What's that? What, what does it do? Well, think of it as an improved Google Glass. Actually, think of it as a merge between the Google Glass and the Oculus Rift. So as you probably know, Google Glass adds a heads-on display over what you can, you know, what you already see. And with that, you can see your Google notifications, you get traffic, weather and news updates. You can also send text messages, take photos, videos and send them to your friends and, you know, all that kind of stuff. With the Oculus Rift, however, instead of just getting a heads-on display over what you already see, you are fully immersed into a 3D world, which is essentially a video game. But keep in mind that the real world is 100% hidden, and in order for you to control your environment, which is basically your game, you have to use either a controller or a mouse and a keyboard. Microsoft's HoloLens, on the other hand, is designed for both video games and real-life situations. So unlike the previous two, HoloLens still lets you see the real world, while adding not just a heads-on display like Google Glass does, but real 3D objects, which you can then manipulate, and this, this thing is called augmented reality. So just like those smartphone apps you're already familiar with, 3D objects are added onto the scene, and they can be anything from a virtual painting to a wide variety of virtual 3D objects. But unlike those augmented reality apps which have no idea where anything in your room is located, they have no idea where the chair is, where the table is, they're not aware of their surroundings, the HoloLens is completely aware of all the objects you have in your room. That's because the HoloLens does all the 3D mapping in real time. So it automatically converts any objects, any real objects it sees through a video camera into 3D objects. And it does all of this in real time, which is which is really, really, really impressive. Actually, this is the only portable device in the world which can do this. 3D mapping in real time, that's, that's one of a kind. So in order to achieve this, besides the CPU and the GPU, Microsoft came up with a completely new processing unit, completely new, which they call HPU, or Holographic Processing Unit. And the HPU is the one responsible for all the holographic mapping. It knows where you're looking, it recognizes your voice, and according to Microsoft, it processes terabytes of information from all of its sensors, all in real time. Seriously. How it does this in real time? I, I have no idea. Microsoft might have stumbled across, I know, some alien artifact, some alien technology, some alien CPU. Yeah, quite quite unbelievable. I mean, even doing this on a today's computer, mapping a scene into 3D in real time would require a lot of processing power. Imagine doing that on a pair of glasses. That's, that's honestly, that's unbelievable. And if you take a look at this video, you can see how the character jumps from the couch onto the floor without any hiccups. So long story short, it actually seems to work extremely well. And now, since you've mapped the real world scene into a 3D polygonal scene, you can now interact with the virtual objects. So this is where it gets really interesting. So let's say that you're designing a bike, you design it on your computer, and with the HoloLens you can see the 3D model of that bike right in front of your eyes. And if you decide that, I know, the fuel tank, for example, needs some improvements, you can do that, you can change the size of the fuel tank on the real bike in the real world as an overlay. This is, this is true science fiction stuff that we've all seen, only, only in the movies. This is, this is really impressive. You can have a Skype conversation with someone and see that someone floating in the air as you walk. You can resize the window with just your finger. You can basically move it anywhere you want. And yes, for those Minecraft lovers out there, you'll be able to play it right on your living room desk. And from what I've seen in their demos, it actually seems to work. Like, 
extremely well. This is because the HoloLens knows where you're looking, it recognizes touches and pans so you can interact with the objects, you even get surround sound and it does all of this without the need to be connected to a computer or even a smartphone for that matter. So there are no cables involved which means that HoloLens is 100% independent. So it acts like a self-sustaining computer, all you need is Wi-Fi and you're good to go and you obviously need to charge it. But besides Wi-Fi and charging it, well, that's that's it. So imagine sitting at your desk with this thing on your head and seeing a second virtual display right next to your computer. Or why just one display? You can have the entire front wall or even the entire ceiling turned into a huge display. The possibilities for this are endless. And speaking of endless possibilities, here's what I believe to be the coolest thing you can do with this. So let's say that your, I don't know, kitchen sink broke and you have no idea how to fix it. So you have a Skype call with your friend who knows how to fix it, and not only can he see what you can see, but he can actually draw on your real world, giving you the best possible tutorial on how to fix that broken sink. This is truly incredible, it opens up a new world of possibilities. And another cool thing about HoloLens is Mars. Yeah, Mars. So JPL or Jet Propulsion's lab plan to control a rover on Mars with a HoloLens by the end of July 2015. And they even did a demo on this where the person was sitting in front of a computer and thanks to the HoloLens he could not only see Mars right in front of his eyes in his living room but also slide the mouse off of his monitor and onto the Mars surface and manipulate Mars in any way he wanted which was absolutely out of this world. So yeah, so far the HoloLens looks like the most incredible thing in tech, so far. However, there are some downsides to it. First, in terms of that really interesting real-time 3D mapping, you get those areas which are not well lit, such as this couch here, which are impossible to be picked up by a video camera. So unless it has an infrared sensor, which it probably does, there's literally no way that anything like this can be achieved. The second downside is that the only way to manipulate objects is by tapping them, and that's it. You can only tap them. Even when you only want to resize a window, you have to tap it once and then drag your finger to resize it. You cannot pinch to resize, you cannot grab objects with two hands. At the moment you cannot do this, the only thing you can do is tap. <laughs> and that's it. The third downside is that we have no idea when this thing is going to be released, although this is not actually a downside. Now Microsoft says that it will release the HoloLens alongside Windows 10, which by the way is coming by the end of 2015. So expect a 2016, early 2016 release, I'm guessing, for the HoloLens. And finally, the fourth disadvantage is actually the most important one. The HoloLens is only a tool, nothing more. It's, it's just a tool which means that it's 100% dependent on its apps. So if the developers do their best and come up with some really impressive apps for the HoloLens, then it's going to be both the coolest and the most helpful thing yet. It might even replace smartphones at some point in the future. However, if the developers don't do their best and they release useless or buggy apps, and the marketplace turns out to be as limited as today's Windows Phone marketplace, then you might have bought, I know, an expensive piece of paperweight because it's gonna be useless. So as a conclusion, the HoloLens is indeed a really impressive piece of technology and it has some huge potential if and only if it's done right. Otherwise it's just gonna end up like the PlayStation Eye. Not a lot of people know about it and not a lot of people are using it. And the ones that are using it are not having the best time of their lives because it doesn't work that well. But yeah, there you go, this was my HoloLens Explained video. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about HoloLens and yeah, like I said before, at some point, if it goes, if everything turns up well, it might even replace smartphones at some point in the future. So there you go, HoloLens Explained video, this was basically it. Thank you all for watching this video, be sure to hit that like button on there if you have enjoyed this video, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one. I'm Daniel, and I'll see you in my next video. Zenof Tech, signing out. Cheers.